Now then, a few weeks ago I got asked to go and look at a an off-grid solar system that wasn't working. Well, fair enough. It was only locally, which is uh, makes life a lot easier. And uh, so the first visit was just look and see what's going on as I was passing. The second visit was to do some to put the batteries back together basically. It was a system that had been abandoned, taken apart, nobody quite knew what was going on. So uh, on that first, no, on the second visit I put the batteries back together, wired up the charge controller, wired up the, the solar panels that were already there. Now this is a low voltage system, it's only 12 volts, so you can take liberties with it quite easily. If it was an on-grid system where you're 300 volts, I wouldn't be doing any of the stuff that I show during this video, because uh, you'd get some nasty electrical shocks, but at 12 volts and 24 volts you're alright, unless you do something really stupid, like cover yourself in water and stand in a puddle and all sorts of things. Anyway, so uh, we, we, on the second visit, I got it working, but I was not happy with the results. So the third visit was um, as I show in this video. Have all the panels apart, check them all, clean all the contacts, etc, etc. So hopefully you'll find this interesting. And the main thing in it is the use of the short circuit current test, which on 12 or 24 volts it's fine. Yeah, maybe on 48 volts it's fine, but anything above that you'd have to be very careful. And here's Flash come to see me. Hello Flash, how are you? Come on. Come on. You great softy. Yeah. <laughs> just because you know, there's a camera anyway so hopefully you enjoy this lot um, it's a bit bitty it's because when you're actually working on site um, you're focusing on what you're doing rather than focusing on filming and then just occasionally you have to sort of um, take your mind off what you're doing and then think about what you're filming but it does break the the uh, the concentration and of course the other problem is that sometimes I either forget to switch the camera on or forget to switch it off and there's a video clip that is 25 minutes long and you only want the first 30 seconds but anyway here you go Sit, uh, make of it what you will uh, comments brilliant yeah I always love comments uh, you know my comment policy um, uh, if you're a new viewer, please subscribe because there's a huge back catalogue and if you're into solar or timber or woods or environmental issues or gardening, then away you go. Now, the cat is just about to start rubbing itself on the tripod so we might get shaky cam. So we'll leave it at that and um, there you go. Right, there'll be a bit of background noise, but we've just got to ignore that. We've got three quite large batteries here, and they're in reasonable condition. Doesn't actually say, but I think they're about 200 amp hours each at 12 volts. And there's the charge controller. Okay. Now, we got 400 watts worth of panels on this and that charge controller is showing C is current, half an amp and we're getting a bit of brightness coming through so that should be more than that. Now what I'm going to do is I'll just put the current clamp on there and hopefully we can see this to check whether there we go it shows 1.2 
although the charge control is still showing point 0.5 one point one and the charge control is showing point 0.5 okay so that's not very entertaining okay so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to this has been running for a week since I wired these up or maybe a bit more than that it had been abandoned for a while put it like that so um, but the batteries luckily seem to be all very even so I'm just going to check the specific gravity of them all and you don't need to see that and then I'm going to do a drop test on the panels which means those two wires there which are the solar I'm going to test disconnect those and I'm going to short them out and put um, the current clamp across the shorted cable and see what happens that's the short circuit current okay So there we go, look, that's only 1.1 amps and on a short circuit current test and each of those panels should be a short circuit current of about 6 or 7 amps. I don't know what the panels are but I think they're 100 watts each at uh, 17 volts or something like that. So we need to do something that is not correct we've got a problem with the panel or the wiring or something like that or maybe they've been connected the wrong way round which will then um, uh, blow the diodes in the back yeah and so therefore then each of the panels will have a dead short on it so we need to investigate and when you actually short circuit these cables and I'll show you this you should get at least a bit of a spark there's nothing going on so we need to get the ladder out and get up on the roof one Two, three, four, four 100 watt panels on wobbly cam. So I've just lifted a couple of the panels off, and as you can see, there are all these tails here, and that one there is the negative down to the battery, and the red one is the positive down to the battery. So we just need to follow things through and it looks like there's one connector that's undone but I'm going to take all these apart and um, spray some cleaner in each one just to make sure everything's connected. What I've done here I've got the panels off the roof and I've shorted the outputs and hopefully you can see that 1.7 so I think we had some duff connections up there I went round them all and initially got some bad results and then cleaned the contacts up or the sockets and we're getting much better so even in this light level we would be getting 4 times 1.6 Four six to twenty four. That'd be at least six six and a half amps as a short circuit current test. So I think we've come to find what the problem was. Each panel is actually generating, so the bypass diodes are all right. So we'll just um, put this back together and go as far as we can see. And here we go. 
9.4 that's better all right let's get that connected back up and now we've got the charge controller uh, wired up again we're on well, the clouds are coming over again but we're on 5.3 not half nothing as before so this just needs a bit of good good sunshine now and we'll come back and test it in a few weeks time and just do the hydrometer test Just to remind everybody, keep the hydrometer in the electrolyte, squeeze the bulb well, and then release it slowly. That way you don't pull in the air. And this battery is not quite halfway up the white, which is quite good. And what does that? That's about 1250. So we're getting there. Hope you've enjoyed this and I will um, catch up with you soon. Cheers for now.